In this video, we will be understanding the most important topic of our unit that is the consumer equilibrium in case of ordinal analysis. See, consumer is at its equilibrium when with the given income he uh, or she is at their maximum level of satisfaction right so for this to calculate the to find out the consumer equilibrium we have started the indifference curve that is the combinations of two goods that gives you equal a same satisfaction and we have started the budget line that gives you the combinations of two goods that gives same level of satisfaction given the income of the consumer right so these two will be needed to calculate the consumer equilibrium in the case of ordinal analysis so let's see how to calculate how to find out the consumer equilibrium these are the assumptions of the, to find out the consumer equilibrium number one is assumption is the consumer is rational this implies that the consumers aim at maximizing their satisfaction number second is utility is expressed ordinarily means in the ranks first second third fourth mrs decreases continuously as more good of x a consumer consumes he has to sacrifice the good y so for an additional unit of good x the consumer is willing to sacrifice less and less of good y so this is the reason your marginal rate of substitution decreases continuously the fourth is utility is an increasing function of consumption which means as more quantity is consumed means more utility as you are consuming more quantity you are increasing your utility you are having more utility from it such preference are called monotonic preferences so these are the assumptions to your consumer equilibrium in case of ordinal analysis there are two conditions to find out your consumer equilibrium number 1 your marginal rate of substitution is equal to your market rate of exchange see your market rate of substitution is ki is the result of indifference curve your market rate of exchange is related to your budget line so when your market rate of exchange is equal to your mre means when your indifference curve is equal to your budget line at that point your equilibrium is attained now you have understood that your indifference curve is convex to the origin 
this is due to the MRS is falling that is when you consume one additional unit of X you sacrifice less and less unit of Y so this is the reason your marginal rate of substitution falls so let's see through the di diagram where you achieve your equilibrium this is your good X this is your good Y this is your indifference curve I see that is convex to the origin and this is your budget line when the budget line is tangent to your IC curve that is the point of equilibrium so here the point of equilibrium is E this is the point of equilibrium here both the conditions are satisfied that is MRS is equal to MRE here and your marginal rate of substitution is falling that is your IC is convex to the origin this is the diagram I have made so now let's understand why you achieve your equilibrium only at point E why not F, G and point P so this is our indifference curve this is our budget line AB and this is our point of equilibrium now let's see at point P why we do not achieve our equilibrium see higher the IC we have done in the properties of IC curve means higher satisfaction definitely a consumer can be at equilibrium at this point but he do not have income his budget line is AB he do not have that much income to purchase more of X and more of Y in order to achieve the equilibrium at point P so at point P higher IC means higher satisfaction but the income is low so at point P your consumer cannot be at equilibrium now see at point F and G so at F and G also your MRS is equal to ME right your budget line is equal to your IC curve now why your consumer is not at equilibrium at F and G this is because of the reason lower IC this is IC2 means lower satisfaction see if he is utilizing his income his whole budget and if he can get the equilibrium at the higher IC where he can get the higher satisfaction why would he opt for this or this point no at these are at the lower ICs so at lower ICs your satisfaction is lower so again these are not the points of equilibrium so the point of equilibrium at is point E so this we have completed your consumer equilibrium